Welcome to the Detroit Experience. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can.
for trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! There you are! What the hell are you doing? I was inspecting the platform. Everything is in order. Good. Then I'm going back to the control station. I'm soaked. Take the drone to maintenance and make a report. Understood. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, from the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Damn dogs. What the fuck? What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling that.
What's going on? The lights are still on outside. Must be the fuse box. I got a flashlight somewhere. Here it is. Fuses are over there. I don't know shit. And I don't get paid to fix fuses. Let's just flip the switch. That doesn't work. We can call maintenance. A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We load. got bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. You're not gonna take my life. 
license, are you? I mean, <laughs> I had nothing to do with this. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Lieutenant Anderson is plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? I'm like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> We'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. You're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. You were damaged and I reactivated you. Everything is all right. Is he... is he dead? Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. I Were begged you alone you in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in. Maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. You ever had any trouble with androids before? No way. No. Once. We lost a model, too. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? 
For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Even Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Let's try this one. This better be a It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which one. again. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. Shit! We're 
too late. man broke the other Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Probably better this way. Just learned that the USS. D 
Detroit's heavy snowfall is expected to continue throughout the night. The forecast is 22 degrees, far below seasonal average. Meanwhile, fire crews have been battling a house fire on the outskirts of the city. The blaze is now under control, but a body found in the wreckage remains unidentified. The Good things Lotko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? I overheard androids Lotko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. They know where we can stay around here, Carol. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. shelter. Here we go. I don't think we'll find anything better. 
Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Alice? Find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. some cookies left? Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but deep down, she knew she couldn't. Then, she met a robot who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. 
Along the way, they met. Another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? It's up to us to write the end of the story, Alice. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Dallas. Sleep tight. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. It's still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No, what are you talking about? Jerry, we were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in the... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin.
first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately.